I am joined by new Chargers special teams coordinator, Darius Swinton. Darius, congratulations. Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much, Haley. I'm happy to be here. What was your reaction upon finding out that you were going to be joining this Chargers staff? Oh, so excited, blessed. Uh, you can take any of the superlatives and just throw them in there because it was just excitement, just being able to work, you know, for a great organization, you know, uh, the Spanos family, Tom Telesco, the success he's had, and then Brandon Staley. I mean, that's just hands down. That's one of the major reasons why I'm here. You know, that he's one of the best people I know, uh, best men, father, son, everything. I mean, you guys have heard it, but it just, that is just excitement to work with him again and get this thing going. You have over a decade's worth experience coaching special teams. What will you bring to the Bolts out here in L.A.? Yeah, I think it's uh, just the experience of just that's what I've done. Uh, also excitement. I try, to, I try to be high energy. I try to you know bring the juice with the guys because it's not always their most favorite part of the day as far as the first meeting of the day usually. And really just fundamentals and just things that can help them grow not only as players but men and then excel in their career and get to wherever they want to get to. You've talked about bringing the juice. Like I said, you've spent a lot of years in this business. How have you kind of had to maybe shift and change some of your techniques to be able to relate to younger players as they come up through the NFL? A lot of them don't play special teams in college and you just have to be creative in how you approach them and, and whether it's clips, and, uh, you know, basketball things in a meeting or funny little memes that they know of that I have to educate myself on. Um, just different tools to get them to, to really tap into special teams and just trying to make sure you keep their attention daily. You're a former safety. You've been an offensive assistant, obviously have the special teams background. How does all that sort of well-rounded training help you when you coach this unit? Yeah, I think it's just being able to know what those guys are going through, the stresses they have from offense, defense, because those guys have a lot on their plate. And what I try to do is say, I know what you've gone through. I know you're getting 30 plays from Joe today. Ronaldo's giving you two new coverages. And so say, hey, I'm going to simplify for you. Okay, I want to make it so you can react and not think. And the more I can do that, I think that's going to help us be better and help the players individually be better. It's an interesting theme. I don't want to say cross training, but you hear that sometimes with offensive linemen of playing both sides. But you yourself, Brandon Staley, other coaches on the staff have experience coaching the other side of the ball or different sides of the ball. Now that you guys all come together, how does that benefit the Chargers as a whole? Yeah, I think, and you've heard Brandon say it, speak the same language, right? So when you've, when you've done that and you've been on multiple sides of the ball, it's really like learning a new language, but now you're just saying, all right, how are we going to speak the charger language? How are we going to call this? How are we? Gonna, and if I can take something that they do on defense with Ronaldo and how he calls it, and I call it the same thing so that they don't have to worry about it, or same thing with Joe, if I can do that. When you get guys that have done multiple things, they know that language is the number one thing, and we're just trying to get our chargers language to be the same so it just starts free-flowing conversations all the time. The Chargers special teams, it's a unit that needs improvement. Tom Telesco said just a couple weeks ago, it would be easier for him to name what went right in 2020 than the things that went wrong. What makes you confident that you'll be able to elevate this group? Yeah, I think you just have to trust your process. I think you just have to trust the evaluations of the players, what they do well, taking what every single individual player does well and putting them in that, that position not fitting them to your scheme, but fitting your scheme to what they do well. And I think that's going to elevate our play this season. And we don't worry about, you know, numbers that we worry about every single day of getting better in that process. You mentioned building around players. Telesco said he needs to do a better job stacking that group. What do you look for in guys to play special teams? Yeah, it varies uh, from position to position as far as, you know, their, their makeup as far as physically. But I talked about his three Fs is fast, physical, and fundamentally sound. I mean, that, that's really what it is. I know phonetically it's right, grammatically it's not, but it's sound and they remember it. So those are the three things. It, and, and I tell them all the time, one is we're going to be fundamentally sound. So that one's going to be a given because we're going to drill things. But just figure out, am I a player that plays faster in skiing what I do? Or do I play physical? And whatever I do, just make sure I do it well every single time to the best of my ability. I read a really interesting line that you had when you were with the Niners. You said there are only 22 guys that start a game that we can call starters. Brandon Staley has called you a really great teacher. How do you motivate players? Where does that motivational factor come from? I do use the 22 starters, you know, talk about Super Bowl. I mean, I, I told her, well, let me know who starts the Super Bowl. And I think we'll know it's the kickoff and kickoff return team. So I just try to tap into them. Uh, and find what is what is their why, right? Like, what is their motivation? Because every player is different, whether it's a 10-year vet that has a family, whether it's a rookie who's just 
trying to provide for himself or take care of mom, or whether it's a player who's trying to prove something, right? It was on a one-year deal. You just try to find out what motivates him. And then within that, get him to play to his best ability on special teams and then contribute on offense and defense. Staley also said you were really instrumental in the Arizona Cardinals game management. Where does your ability to communicate come from? In our household growing up, you had to, you had to fight to get words in. And so it starts there, <laughs> but it's just trying to get your message clearly to the next person. I always thought, hey, let's let's talk this thing out. And I, I try to just get things and clearly so the person can spit it back to you the same way you spit it to them. And situationally, that's really what it is, is do we see it the same way? I don't, if you say I'm wrong, that's okay. We're talking this thing through. And I think that's where the communication comes. But it starts from a young age, trying to get words in with my sister, you know? <laughs> How many siblings did you have? Just an older sister. And uh, I tell people she's the sports nut, not me. She, she is yelling at the TV. She knows every player. So, you know, I'm just happy that I don't have to coach against her. That's awesome. And then lastly, Darius, you and Chargers head coach Brandon Staley, you guys go back, but what can you say about him and now being able to coach with him? Man, I'm just so happy for him. You know, Amy, the boys, him getting this opportunity to really put his imprint on a team and really for his vision and the culture to really extend beyond just the locker room. I mean, he's one of the great men out there. He's a leader of men. The players are going to see how genuine he is, how much juice he has every day. And I think everybody's going to feed off of it. Not, not just players, coaches. I mean, you guys are going to feed off of it every day because it's just, it's contagious. You've been around them and you can't help but be upbeat and positive outlook on everything when you're around Brandon Staley.